In this video, let's see what are free radicals and antioxidants. In a body, certain molecules like peroxide, superoxide, nitric oxide are produced by our cells. They are called as free radicals. Free radicals are formed naturally and continuously in our body as a byproduct when the food we eat is converted into energy and also due to toxins, ultraviolet radiation, x rays, and microwaves. These free radicals are highly energetic, reactive, unstable molecules. They are unstable and energetic because they have an unpaired electron in their outer orbit. We can describe free radicals as hungry and angry molecules because in order to become stable, they are always on the lookout for electrons from stable molecules and they knock off an electron from cell molecules like proteins, lipids and DNA they come across. After losing an electron, these molecules now become a free radical themselves and this sets off a chain reaction leading to formation of a lot more free radicals. These free radicals which are formed in our body are counteracted by molecules called antioxidants. Antioxidants act in three ways, by preventing free radical formation, by scavenging the already formed free radicals and by repairing the damaged cell molecules. There are two types of antioxidants, endogenous that is produced in our body and exogenous obtained from our diet. There are two types of endogenous antioxidants like the enzymes superoxide dismutase, catalase and glutathione peroxidase and non-enzymatic molecules like lipoic acid, glutathione, L-arginine, coenzyme Q10 and melatonin. The exogenous antioxidants which we get from our diet are vitamin C, vitamin E, carotenoids, minerals like selenium, manganese, zinc, flavonoids and omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids to name a few. Whenever the free radical load is much more than the antioxidants can handle, oxidative stress occurs in our body. This leads to inflammation and disease. Let's see how oxidative stress affects our body. One obvious and striking effect is premature aging. Free radicals hasten aging process. Damage to the skin is the most obvious sign because it is visible to our eyes as deep wrinkles roughness, discoloration and dullness. Oxidative stress accelerates brain aging leading to altered brain vasculature, morphology, altered levels of neurotransmitters and hormones. From milder effects like memory loss, depression and cognitive impairment, if left unchecked it can progress to Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease. It can lead to asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and in the eyes it can precipitate age-related macular degeneration and cataract formation. Oxidative stress also plays a crucial role in the development of atherosclerosis, hypertension which can ultimately result in ischemic heart disease. One main cause of all types of cancer is oxidative stress. When the DNA of the cell is repeatedly attacked by the free radicals, it undergoes mutation and the cells undergo uncontrolled multiplication resulting in cancer. So how do we prevent the oxidative stress occurring in our body? Preventing excess formation of free radicals would be the first step. This is done by avoiding obvious stressors of our body like junk food, alcohol, smoking, mental and physical stress. What we call as junk food is energy dense, low nutrient, low fiber fatty food. Eating too much of this leads to fat accumulation. There are two types of fat deposits, subcutaneous fat and visceral fat. Subcutaneous fat is fat deposited just beneath the skin and the other one is visceral fat. This is fat deposited in the abdominal cavity near the vital organs like liver, stomach and intestines. This fat is metabolically active and dangerous because it releases potentially harmful molecules that cause oxidative stress. Tobacco smoke contains more than 1000 toxins, all of which can cause high oxidative stress in the blood vessels and can wreak havoc in the clotting mechanisms of the blood. 
alcohol is metabolized in the liver it produces more free radicals and drastically decreases antioxidant production so alcohol can cause full blown oxidative stress of the liver which is the master organ of our body many studies have suggested emotional stress can trigger oxidative damage to our body physical exercise when done in excess can lead to oxidative stress physical inactivity also can cause oxidative stress to our body so long term moderate exercise is the key for health because it up regulates antioxidant enzymes enzymes produced in our body are basically protein molecules so make sure you always have a good intake of protein for improving antioxidant enzymes we have to improve antioxidant uptake by eating wholesome food rather than supplements because we can go overboard with supplements which can also have negative effects foods that are rich in antioxidants are green leafy vegetables colorful fruits and vegetables spices and nuts now the question arises what happens if we have too much of antioxidants according to many studies too much of antioxidant paradoxically increase the chance of us getting cancer so let's know the role of free radicals in our body free radicals play an important role in the host defense mechanism phagocytes are our body's first line defense cells they are white blood cells that engulf and digest toxins and microorganisms they do so by producing a burst of free radicals not only that they are the signaling molecules for many cellular events within the cells and between many cells of our body so the bottom line is we have to maintain minimum required amount of free radicals for the cell functions and also keep them in check so that they do not cause any damage maintaining delicate balance between free radicals and antioxidants is the key to our well being and thanks for watching